Hey, what's going on? Welcome back to Smooth Lines Podcast. Today I have a special guest. I have a Hooper. Tell everybody your name. Oh, my name is Taylor. How you doing, Taylor? Tell me how pretty you doing. Good. Um, pretty good. Okay, okay. So, tell me how how old are you and where you from? Uh, I'm 15 and I'm from Atlanta. From Atlanta, okay. So you go to Westlake, right? Yes. Tell me about Westlake. How you like it out there? Um, I like the school. It's pretty fun. Um, they give like good education. And sports is real good. We um right now we doing good in all our sports. Okay, so growing up, what sports did you like to play? Um, I used to dance when I was younger, but I always loved basketball. Like I just been playing basketball for like a long time. But after the third grade, I stopped playing for a while. I got lazy. Oh, okay, okay. So what player who you look up to in the league? Any um, WNBA or NBA? Right now, in the WNBA, mm-hmm. like one of my top most players, um, probably super, not not because like, you know, she's one of the greatest players, but she just really good. Right. And then um, I did, uh, Brittany Griner, I used, I really love her. Free Brittany. Yeah. And then I liked um, like Tia Cooper, I like yeah. a lot of them. Like, and then in the NBA, I really love John Morant, but I know he gonna have bad knees by 30. <laughs> and then, <laughs> And I like uh, Nicola. Nicola. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I like I like the Joker too. Okay, so um, it was so many things, so many questions that I want to go to. Okay, so the ballerina. So what, did you did you like the ballerina thing, or how did you get into that? Um, I'm not gonna lie, my grandma she put me in that, and I I hated it my whole <laughs> like, and I did it for a good little minute too, and I hated it. I'm not gonna lie. As you can tell, it's not me. Okay, yeah, okay, okay. It's not me at all. So, do you think the footwork that you learned doing ballerina helps you in basketball? Though? Oh yeah, ba- ba- ballet helped me a lot because it gave me a lot of core strength and mm. just a lot of strength in general. It gave me like right now I'm like five five mm. and I can rebound better than a six two. Okay, so tell me your tell me your the most points you scored in the game. Uh, it's not a high, probably like 10. Okay. Maybe, maybe 8. It, it's because, you know, it, it's hard nowadays. Yeah. Because everybody's so big. Right. So it's kind of hard to just score. But I be trying. I, I know. So, what player game you think emulate yours? Like, who you think you play like? Um, I kind of think I move like CP3. Okay. Okay. I like CP3. So, you did assist. So, you be getting all them assists and yeah, all that. Yeah, I like the assist. And okay. I like to get shifty in the post. Shifty? Tell me, what's your best, what's your best move in the, like, what's your number one go-to? Crazy. Yeah. Okay. 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 So, uh, I know, what, what grade you in? Oh, um, I'm in the 10th grade. 10th grade. So, have you been thinking about any colleges you may possibly want to go to or anybody? You know what yeah, I'm saying? Um, right now, I do like my number one college I was thinking about was Mercer University. Okay. But I've been looking at um Ohio State and um, Shorter and yeah. Okay. My cousin will be happy if you go to uh, Ohio State. But uh, was there um any uh, other um, curricular activities you do in school other than basketball? Um, I re- I'm not really into no clubs, but like I mean academically I'm doing perfect. Sure. Uh, as of right now, we still don't know this for sure, but I got the opportunity to graduate in 11th grade. But I mean, it's my choice. Right. A lot of people want me to walk with my class, but I don't. I got I, all my classes is 11th grade classes. I'm just in, in the 10th grade. Right. But so it's just like walking with my class. I don't really care. I don't talk to them anyway. Now my next question. I, I I feel if it's time for you to graduate, just you know what I'm saying, just graduate. But yeah, I really don't know what decision I want to make. Just take your time with it, and whatever you choose to do, just be happy with it. But thinking about colleges, what would you think about studying in college? Um, right now, I got two pathways I want to take. I'm thinking about getting into like the dental field, like being an orthodontist, mm-hmm. and then I also want to become like a entrepreneur. But you know, that's not always promised. Right. So that's why I wanted to also take on being an orthodontist or something. But if I become a, a entrepreneur, I was thinking about doing like cars and like the wraps and the um, detailing. So like pimp my ride a little bit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like wrapping cars, you know, like the you know, like yeah, the little skins. Right. Okay. So uh, how long you been going on the lock journey for? Um, I been I started my locks in December of twenty twenty, so almost two years. So what the locks mean? What does it mean to you? Do you think it gives you energy? Like I feel it, it gives it you girls. 
Get your girls? Mm-hmm. Okay, okay. But, um, yeah, it, it, gave me, it gave me a lot of confidence. That's good. And I just, like, love embracing myself through my locks. And, like, you know, I done went through, like, I feel like, I feel like three colors as of right now. And I'm going on a new one for my birthday. So. What color are you going for the B-Day in a couple weeks? It's, like, this um, red kind of, what's the name? I forgot the name. But it's, like, a red. Okay. It's a red I'm going with. Tell me what family means to you. To me, family is very important because they take you a long way. And, you know, when you don't have nobody, you always got your family. And they just, they going to be there regardless. Do you follow the NBA, like, kind of closely, like the Hawks and all that? Um, I mean, I do, but mostly the WNBA. Right, and, okay. Like, the girls, the college girls team because um, my coach, I mean, I used to watch a lot of boys, but my coach told us, like, watching boys, it's going to get you somewhere, but it's going to get you – where you want to go because you can't really do as much as boys can do. Right. So it's best for you to watch females so that you can actually play like. When I was watching the WNBA playoffs, I like my favorite college Tennessee. So I was going for Candace Parker. So when Candace Parker got out, I was like. I like I like uh Paige Beckers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it wasn't it Las Vegas who got it, right? Um. The Aces. The Aces. Oh yeah, it was the Aces. Sure. Okay. They had did that um. The game, the game winning, I think it was a, I thought like it was a layup, or I forgot what it was, uh-huh. but she had the whole, just everybody going crazy. So if you could get drafted to a WNBA team per pick, what team would you want to pick you? Probably the Aces or uh, the Sparks. Okay. So if you could play with a player in the WNBA, who would you want to, who would you think would be best with your game, how you play? I want to I wanna throw a lob for Lisa Leslie. Okay. Or yeah. I want to throw a lob. Or uh, uh or Ali for Brittany Griner. Oh, dope, dope, dope. Okay, so if you shot ten free throws <clears throat> right now, how many think you gonna hit in a row? Uh, in a row. Or like, how many think out of ten you would hit 10? out of ten? Um, probably okay. In a row, I would say six to seven, but in like second tries. Uh-huh. Okay, so I'm gonna tell you my little ritual when I do free throw. I do like the two dribbles down and I dribble like to the left and go up. Tell me your ritual when you about to do your free throw. I do uh, one, two, three, spin the ball, one, two, three, spin the ball, up, peace. Yeah, look good. Hey, better form than me. So I'm gonna let you go. I'm gonna let you go on um, this question right here. I asked you about family and what family means to you, but. Tell me about some people in your lifetime who gave you some good support outside of your, you know what I'm saying, not outside of your family and all that, like homeboys or, you know what I'm saying, um, home girls. My best friends, they give me a lot of good support. My Shout out to your Zaria, friends. My best friend Zaria, Bailey, Sean, and Jay, they give me a lot of support. Um, I got a girlfriend. Okay. Her name Desmarie, she give me, I'm to my talent and support. Okay. And then, um, I just got, like, my basketball team, they give me good support. Mm-hmm. And I just got a lot of outside friends and my, um, my reading teacher, she she like she's probably one of my best teachers because she cares about every like even outside of reading everything she cares about everything. What's the name of your teacher, teacher again? Her name is Miss Boston. Shout out to you, Miss Boston. You got a great kid here. Yeah, she she's one of my favorite teachers. Like she really really cares. Okay, make sure when you get your valedictorian, and put it in that speech. All right. So okay, any last shout outs before I let you uh, go? And what's the and also what's your expectations of the next season? When you hooping too, so you answer that one first and then do the shoutouts. Uh, one okay. Well, right now we in our fall pre preseason mm-hmm. and it's going pretty good. We won all our games, but for the fall season, I'm expecting um basically like just more wins and more effort within the team, not just within me. And you know, just equality on the court. That right. Everybody feeling you know included. And you know, not everybody gonna touch the court and gonna get play time, but I just feel like everybody should just feel empowered on the court. In general. Right. And yeah, I just feel like okay. we all like give me, give me some shout outs. Um, I just who you thinking about right now? My grandma. Shout out to grandma. Shout out my yeah. grandma too. And my mom and my stepdad and my sister and my brother. I love them a lot. And then the little dude who's just upstairs. Myron. Oh, Jeff, I asked you about that name. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Myron and, and Tyler. Uh huh. Yeah, they they give me a lot of support. And yeah. then some neighborhood friends. They like my neighbors. They they help me with a lot. Also, I appreciate y'all letting me come in and ask you questions. I, I look forward to following you closely and seeing everything you're doing. And we can be on some Vlad and Boots. I pull up and get another interview, something like that. But thank you for your time, for real. For sure. Thank you.